Uh, this is Rick Taylor. He's state representative here from Ambler. Uh, this was his event this afternoon with Governor Rundell, Congresswoman Schwartz, and others. Uh, Rick, your seat the last two elections was around five, six hundred votes difference, razor thin margin. Your seat could swing the balance in the state house. Talk to um, our blog viewers right now about the importance of your race in regard to redistricting. Well, this district has always been a, a competitive area and it's uh, originally it was most designed as a Republican area divided as such to be a Republican area and gerrymandered all get out. Now that's not the way it ought to be. We really should have independently designed districts but until that happens the Democrats need to hold the House of Representatives for no other purpose than, than to have a say in redistricting. And this is going to be vital from the congressional seats to the House seat. And ultimately, it's going to be about policies that matter to Pennsylvanians, whether it's education, whether it's Marcellus Shale, transportation, key issues that are coming up in Pennsylvania that need to be dealt with. And if we don't get a handle on it, it's going to be to the detriment of our coming generations. So this is why this redistricting is so important and why the House must be held. And this race this year is key to this because we redistrict every 10 years based on the census. My, my seat really is the keystone of the Keystone State. Uh, I, you know, I'd like to have one of those seats where it's not always as competitive, but that's the nature of the office. And then I sit in the district I sit, and I'm fine with that a better representative because I'm forced to go out and talk to the constituents all the time about the issues that matter to them. And at the end of the day, that has made me a tireless worker for the issues, taking their concerns to Harrisburg and getting results locally. And that's why you're such an effective state representative uh, here for this part of Montgomery County. Well, thank you for just uh, saying that. I believe that we have delivered results, whether it was me getting uh, a bill for mobile homes done for my seniors, a thousand people. We've only had some 87, 87 acts here in Pennsylvania this year. I was able to get one of them done, working bipartisanly with Representative Harper. And these are the things that people want us to see us do, is take those local concerns and get results from them, because at the end of the day, it's about them, not about them. A lot of these issues aren't Republican, they aren't Democratic, they're just local government issues, aren't they? Well, yeah, this district, uh, people are moderate by nature. They don't want to see bickering. They don't want to see someone pointing a finger at who put a hole in the boat. They want to see us all working together to bail out the water and then get the boat uh, a or a right and floating and working together. When we're pointing the fingers, we're not bailing out the boat. All right, well, thank you very much, Rick.